Since my AliExpress SSD video did quite well, I thought that today I would do a video on more interesting findings from there. Almost a year ago, my dad bought a new Motorola H40 smartphone. Unlike most smartphones nowadays, the H40 came included with a charger, and a surprisingly big one at that, claiming to do upwards of 68 watts. But looking closer at the charger, I noticed it had text saying that it can do 3.4 amps on 20 volts. And surely enough, Motorola, which is owned by Lenovo, yes, I know that, claims that this phone charger is also well suited to charge laptops that have USB-C ports, which can do power delivery. But the question arises, what if your laptop doesn't have power delivery? Or better yet, what if I can use this relatively compact phone charger to power any piece of e-waste crap that I can find in the dumpster or whatever, without the need of buying a potential fire hazard universal charger? With the help of a bunch of adapters, we can turn this dream into a reality. The first thing I bought was the 65 watt Type-C laptop power adapter connector plug USB Type-C to universal laptop charger jack charging cable cord for notebooks. In other words, it's a dinky little adapter that turns USB-C into a 5.5 by 2.1 mm plug. Now yes, it's only one plug, but this specific connector can be adapted to a multitude of other ones, which is where the second product comes in. Not even gonna bother calling this name out because screw that, but it's basically a set of 34 little dongles, each with different connectors. That's a lot of connectors, usually with most universal laptop chargers on the market, you're lucky to get 10 dongles. 34 means you're pretty much covered, no matter what laptop you want to use, or other devices that need barrel plugs. All in, the total came to about 12 US dollars and 5 cents. Do keep in mind that while the USB-C adapter does have free shipping, the 34-piece kit does not. So I had to buy something else that was at least $2 and was part of the AliExpress choice bowl crap they had going on. And no, the adapter was not included in the program, sadly. Alright, so I've got the power strip going, I've got the 68 watt Motorola charger going, I've got this adapter, and these things, I still don't know what to call them, I'll probably call them uh, dongles, because yeah, it sounds pretty cool. So with this setup, we're gonna test out three laptops today, and the first one is a reoccurring character on this channel, give a warm welcome back to the Asus K50C. 19 volts, 3.42 amps, it almost matches exactly with the Motorola charger. I mean, yeah, we do have an extra volt on this charger, it's 20 volts, but normally it shouldn't really matter. Now comes the fun part. What's the correct dongle for this laptop? And it turns out it's uh, this one. We're gonna plug it in here. We're gonna plug in the laptop. So now all we gotta do is open the lid and power it on. Look at that, it's working. Uh, yeah, so at one point I did try installing the uh, Windows 98 on it. I mean, it, it did install, but um, yeah, uh, to say that it didn't go great is uh, it's a bit of an understatement. But you may be asking, why did I even bother doing this? Well, because apparently most SIS chipsets do support Windows 98. And apparently even this one is included, but uh, yeah, it just didn't work out and the uh, uh, yeah, however, laptop does turn on, which is great. So yeah, let's move on to the next one. So yeah, this next laptop, it's probably gonna be a future video at some point, but say hello to the HP Compact NC2400. Look how cute this is. 
Now this laptop is 18.5 volts at 3.5 amps. But again, I don't think this is gonna be an issue. Now for this laptop, we're gonna have to use a different dongle. So yeah, this is gonna go back here. And we're gonna use probably this one because this match up with the original. We just plug this guy in. Now we're gonna plug in to the laptop. Hope there's no smokes. So yeah, this laptop, when you plug in, it does turn on automatically, so uh, yeah, that's nice. And not because at one point uh, I left it plugged in, I went to, to a vacation, and then when I came back home, uh, it was turned on because uh, at one point the power went off in our house. So uh, yeah, that was not very fun, but at least there were no fires. and doesn't remember the time, I have to replace the battery on this. But yeah, it actually works, which is just awesome. So at the moment we're running 3 Marco 3, mainly to stress it out. And we're gonna see if this 68 watt Motorola charger is holding up with the laptop. So yeah, after 7 minutes I got a pretty normal score for this laptop, and the charger is only mildly warm so this is working out pretty well i'm impressed that this monstrosity is uh, actually working fine in fact this adapter doesn't even get that hot at all it's pretty cold actually it's janky as fuck but damn does it impress me now for the final laptop We've got a modern one. By modern, I mean seven years old, but it's the only laptop that I have where well, this battery still works. Actually, I have two of them, but the battery on this one lasts a bit longer. It's the Asus ZenBook UX360 UAK. My goodness, that's a mouthful. Now, this laptop does actually have a USB C port. However, if I try to charge it, it just simply doesn't work. And that's for good reasons, because uh, this does not support power delivery. So, uh, yeah, how are we going to charge it? Well, we're going to use the adapter. As far as dongle goes, we're going to use the smallest one from this row. Plug it in here, plug it in to the laptop. Wait, actually it's uh, right here. Boom, it's charging. Now, just like with the HP, we're running 3D Mark. This time it's uh, Time Spy. May need to stress the laptop out and possibly the charger as well. I think it's gonna be fine. Also, damn, this laptop is so fucking loud, my god. Talking about the fans, not the speakers. Ah, the HD 620 graphics. Look at it going. Two frames per second. And the ZenBook finished the benchmark without having the charger nor the adapter break a sweat. Uh, can't we really say the same about the ZenBook? Uh, actually, please ignore this. So, what are my final thoughts on this? Well, I pressed this setup quite a lot in this video, but there is a caveat worth noting. The adapter only claims to support laptops that are in the 65 watt mark or lower. Realistically, what's gonna happen when using this with more powerful laptops? You know, ones with dedicated GPUs and all that. It's either gonna charge really slowly, or it just won't do it. Otherwise, for laptops that aren't that power hungry, it, it just works. This adapter along with the dongle set work pretty well together. It makes for a cheap alternative to trying to track down a specific charger for a specific laptop only to find out it's either no longer being sold new or cost too much. It's also pretty good for people who want to use the same charger for both their phone or laptop, but a specific laptop they have lacks USB power delivery. That space being saved in your backpack. It's a bit of a bummer that you have to get some bullcrap you don't need so that you can get free shipping, but otherwise, 
It's pretty good. I recommend it. That's all I have to say now.